Some are calling this Le Bromance. That may be a bit over the top, but there's no doubt these two want to improve relations. Look at the body language. President Macron and the Prime Minister spent more than an hour talking with no other staff in the room. And when they emerged, the President said history and geography meant France and Britain must have good relations. The Prime Minister replied in kind. I feel very fortunate to be serving alongside you and incredibly excited about the future that we can build together. Merci, mon ami. For the Prime Minister, the focus is small boat crossings, and it's been announced the UK will spend half a billion pounds over three years to control them on the French side of the Channel, also helping to fund a new detention centre in France. So will this be money well spent? Those are good investments for the UK to make if they stop people coming and, and reduce the pressure on our asylum system in our hotels. Um, and I actually think you know, today's agreements represent a very positive step forward. But when the president was asked if there was any prospect that people who had crossed could be returned to France, he didn't sound like he wanted to commit. The level of ambition of this new plan is exactly what we need. This is what we can do on the, at the bilateral level. Second, this is not an agreement between UK and France, but an agreement between UK and the EU. Six UK ministers also came here to meet their French counterparts, a measure of how seriously both sides are taking this reset of relations. And the tone is being set from the top by these two. There's no doubt in adverse conditions, the relationship is warming, but will it deliver practical results on the Channel Coast for the Prime Minister? And Andy, uh, listening to your report there, obviously the Prime Minister was speaking a little bit earlier today and the Gary Lineker news we've just broken on the programme has happened just before five o'clock about him being removed from match of the day until he sorted out his issues with the BBC regarding his social media. But that also came up with the Prime Minister earlier. Yes, uh, we came over with the Prime Minister on the train from London and on the train uh, we got to ask the Prime Minister various things and he was asked, do you think you'll be able to convince people like Gary Lineker that you are getting this right when it comes to trying to control small boat crossings? And the Prime Minister replied that yes, over time he hoped that people like Gary Lineker would come to realise that this was the correct policy, that in the Prime Minister's words they, would they had tried everything else and that in the end it was a compassionate thing to do because this was the way that you would stop people uh, getting into the hands of criminal gangs, trying to cross uh, the channel and getting into so much danger. So he didn't refer, he, he kept away from the idea of whether Gary Lineker should be suspended or taken off match of the day or whatever. This was before that announcement we've just heard. But he certainly said he hoped that in the end people like Gary Lineker would decide the government had got it right on this.